Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm honest with you, this video makes me hella uncomfortable. Um, and it's definitely something different than usual. But I've decided to go for a video like this since I struggled with anorexia and bulimia for around 5 years of my life. And this is why this video is especially close to my heart. Before we start, just a few disclaimers, so there will be no, hopefully, no misunderstandings. First of all, if content like this triggers you easily, then you probably better go, and uh, I wish you all the best from the bottom of my heart. Second of all, I am not a professional, I can only base my statements on my own experience and uh, what I've learned through therapy, uh, conversation with other patients. What I'm saying may be seen differently by other people concerned and that's okay. Content like this will definitely come less often, but I just really want to use my reach to also talk about more serious subjects. And last but not least, um, in the meantime, I'm doing much better than two, three years ago, um, and I'm truly taking care of myself now. Also, please check out the description for any further information. Thank you very much. Because the exact regulation of your weight is much more in the foreground um, and this is also often just an attempt to deal with other issues, uh, for instance uh, family conflicts or problems at school. But there are literally hundreds of reasons why to slip into an eating disorder. I, I just mentioned a few of them. <laughs> in my case it was primarily the second. Uh, but I just don't want to dig too deep into that because the video would be too long otherwise. Um, but for the reasons mentioned above, statements like just eat something or you don't have to lose weight, uh, you already look fine, uh, or I couldn't do that, for, for that I just love food way too much, or yeah, they, they just don't help because they, you know, miss the actual problem. People I confided back then had a somewhat strange idea how an eating disorder is affecting your life. And just to be clear now, anorexia and bulimia are affecting like everything. Um, you just have to imagine, you try to avoid every situation in which people are eating. And this also includes parties, class trips, shopping, going to the cinema. It's unbelievable how much it is about food. And this is something that completely fall apart if you have a problem. You're isolating yourself more and more. In my case, it was even to such a strong point that I can't even stand when people just talk about uh, food. Also, calorie consumption is calculated for every single activity. So, like, you have always numbers in your head, no matter what you're doing. In my worst phase, I've even calculated how much I've burned during my sleep. One of the worst prejudices I've encountered was that people think you have to look skinny to have an actual problem, to have an actual serious eating disorder, and that only white young girls are affected by it. But that's bullshit. My point is not to question the statistics, but I highly criticize the way they are handled, even by professionals. When I confident in someone back then, for example, I heard was that I don't look like I have this problem. Statements like this are extremely dangerous and should never be made. Basically speaking, it's damn hard to help as an outsider. An eating disorder is a mental illness and usually needs to be treated professionally. 
What you can do is offering a sympathetic ear. Also, if you fear that a friend is struggling with an eating disorder, then don't directly uh, point out on their figure, their appearance, um, or their eating habits. And rather, just ask if they have problems at the moment they need to get rid of their chest, so they know that if something's going on, uh, they can come to you and talk to you. Also, in general, it is quite important to try to leave comments on their appearance completely. Try to focus on uh, their character strengths uh, instead. This will automatically distract them from this toxic thoughts. However, it is important if you fear that their life is in danger, please, please seek help. Your friend, your family member, or whoever is concerned will probably hate you for this, but please trust me when I'm saying that you're doing the right thing. I will put all the links and information in the description, so as I said at the beginning, please make sure to check it out. This video only scratched on the surface, so if you're interested in learning more, then make sure to leave a comment or message me on Instagram. And in any case, please make sure to take care and be kind to yourself.